So this was already launched in uh, in April of this year, and that is the ability to add SharePoint pages and SharePoint news to your Microsoft team. Now, before, if we wanted to add a SharePoint site homepage, we would just do it by using the website link because um, the normal SharePoint um, tab would just take you to SharePoint document library. So let's uh, take a look at how this works. So this is the new SharePoint news article or page tab that you can add. And um, I've already copied the link to uh, one of my intranets. So let's have a look and see how this uh, works. So add a SharePoint page from associated team site by selecting a page from the list and clicking on save. Your team will be able to view the page but not edit. So this obviously then points out that I can't add another site this way but only from the existing. So I'm going to select um, home and let's uh, take a look and see how that actually pulls through as. And there we go. This is the human resources site um, that sits behind um, this team site. I want to also just add um, the news article. I know that I haven't uh, really published news, but I just want to have a look and see what it looks like. So instead of bringing in the home page, I want to bring in the news feed, which is really, really a cool thing to do. But uh, I'm definitely going to be asking Microsoft that I want to be able to bring in news and a home page from other SharePoint sites, for example, a company intranet. I mean, that would be a very big win for me if that's a possibility for us. So um, I'm quickly just going to go and create a news article on this specific human resources site and then we can see how that displays. And there we go. There's the landing page of my intranet, which obviously I've done absolutely nothing on. And, um, and there's my news tab. Remember again that at the moment it only allows us to bring through the existing um, um, team that you're on the um, SharePoint site that sits behind that. So there's two news articles that I've published as well. Great, uh, great idea. And I definitely would love to see us being able to bring in other news from other sites and other um, internet landing pages onto the Microsoft Teams. But this is definitely already helping us um, get there, I would say. So here's a quick way how to get um, the internet news in from another site that's not your specific team site. What I've gotten done on my intranet is I've built a new page and on that page I added the news feed web part. So you'll see here, if I go add, you'll see that one of these web parts is um, news. There we go. And news then surfaces all the news feed on the page. I then, um, of course, publish the page and I'm going to use the link to this specific intranet news page. And that is uh, the link I'm going to add on my team. So if I go new, I'm not going to use this. So this SharePoint news will only add from the specific site. If I use um, the website link, and I'll just call this intranet news. This is a news feed from a completely different uh, SharePoint site. And this is the news feed from the specific team's um, SharePoint site in the background. There we go, problem solved. Hope uh, that you'll start messing around with that. Definitely a cool way to bring that communications right into the teams where they work and to stop sending all those extra emails with the PDF attachments on it. I mean, that's crazy, people. Enjoy, chat soon.